Okay, hi everyone. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for watching this video. So for today, I would like to share with you on how to install Streamlit into uh, my PC. Okay, actually on uh, this is uh, the video that I record so that I can refer back if I forgot on how to um, uh, install the uh, Streamlit. Okay, so at the first place, uh, previously when I learned about this uh, uh, Streamlit uh, from the other YouTubers, so I go to the streamlit.io and then I saw there is a code which is pick install Streamlit that shall be uh, typed. Uh, and then we can install the uh, Streamlit in our PC. So previously, I did this one. I open up the uh, the command. Yeah. Then I type pip Streamlit. Uh, sorry, pip install Streamlit. Okay, so pip is not recognized as an internal or external command, so the, that's indicate we need to do uh, uh, another way of installation. So at the same time, I'm also uh, uh, reading of the uh, a book which is uh, this title, "Getting Started with Streamlit for Data Science," and I found there is a sentence say that to install Streamlit, run the following code in the terminal. So the similar code pip install Streamlit. So there is a word terminal so from further googling i found this doc.streamlit.io library I get started installation there is a common a direction on how to install streamlit on windows uh, via anaconda here so uh, fortunately i have this anaconda so i open up my anaconda and go to anaconda navigator so i create a new environment as name as streamlit okay so uh, actually we can install the streamlit to any of this environment so i have base pymol 2 and r studios i can we can install actually the streamlit at any of this environment but in this case i just want to try to create a new environment so i click create i type a new name for example any name okay and then i click create so after you uh, click create it will take some time to create the new environment so in this case if you click create definitely it will appear in a new environment but for this video i just cancel it because i have already created the streamlit environment for myself so in this case i want to install the streamlit in this environment the streamlit environment itself so you have to click this icon yeah uh, like the case icon here and then click open terminal and the command will be appear. You can see there, there is a Streamlit uh, uh, domain there. So I need to type pip Streamlit, uh, eh, sorry, pip install Streamlit, enter. So you can see that the Streamlit has been, uh, uh, installation has been initiated. Okay. and then for this one you want if you want to check that your streamlit uh, installation is workable you have to type streamlit hello and then press enter okay you can see uh, there is a pop-up uh, website pop-up afterward uh, at your local host so you can see uh, welcome to streamlit and so on and so forth these indicate that your streamlit is working okay uh, so in this case if i want to try uh, open up uh, a new uh, uh, um, apps yeah so i go to my anaconda navigator i go to home launch the jupyter notebook so in, in, in this case i uh, a little bit more familiar than uh, than pycharm so i open up the uh, jupyter and then you can see that in this jupyter um, I have the streamlit folder that I create and then I kept all these uh, Python files in this uh, folder so if I want to uh, uh, execute this uh, website or this app using this code so I go back to my um, Anaconda Navigator go to environment click streamlit open terminal so, but in this case, since I have already uh, installed uh, Streamlit, I don't have to type pip install Streamlit anymore. 
but I need to open up the domain or the, the folder that contain or that uh, kept my uh, that, that keep my uh, Python files. So in this case, I have to type cd extremely okay this is where it belongs because this is already stated there in streamly okay there this is uh, these are the uh, files of the uh, fighting files that I have so I just need to oh, sorry not this one Take this one press enter so you can see so this uh, computer uh, have been uh, op uh, is open up uh, the streamly uh, folder and then I type Streamlit run. Okay, I choose one of these uh, files. So, for example, DNA dot uh, So, I will type this one DNA py, and then I type. So, when we type Streamlit run, indicate that we want this uh, website uh, or the recording to be executed. Okay, press enter. Okay, we have to wait for a while. So this is the uh, uh, DNA, uh, sorry, DNA nucleotide count web apps that I've learned from Data Professor, and then this is uh, what this code is uh, referring to. So this indicate that the streamlit is successful. Okay, another way of doing it is you can go to type uh, this one. Yeah, streamlit hello and then you can see a new pop-up of this one will also indicate that your streamlit is workable okay that's all from me i hope uh, uh, this vi this video will uh, help others who like to install uh, streamlit in the anaconda i'm not so sure about other python uh, apps but for me because i'm not familiar with uh, uh, because i'm still learning about the machine learning so uh, I keep this recording for myself actually uh, if in the case that I forgot on how to use the streamlit um, in the future so I hope it also will be beneficial to uh, those who watch this video that's all thank you very much Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh